supposed to be categorized as one of the best looking guys in wrestling today from Oak Park, Illinois, Carl Engstrom. Carl, nice having you with us again. Nice being here, Mel. Carl, uh, do you find that the uh, fans are fair in their judgment of wrestling matches? Uh, on the whole, they are, but sometimes they don't understand some of the technicalities involved. Like, uh, well, I can't think of any specific things. A lot of times there are certain specific uh, areas which the fans are uh, ignorant of. And sometimes when a decision is rendered, they don't quite understand it. In other words, they run afoul of the technical difficulties. That's so right. Yes. Uh -huh. But for the most part, uh, when they are uh, well informed and the information uh, is available to them readily, do you think they are fair in their reaction I to the various so, wrestlers? I think so, yes. Yes, I believe they are. Who do you think the most vociferous ones are, the men or the women? Oh, the ladies. Definitely. You think the ladies? Definitely. They make the most definitely. noise. I think it goes with the Do you school. think the ladies are better fans than men? In, in other words, are they uh, stronger fans? Do they follow more closely? Uh, yes, I, I think they're more vehement in their reactions. And I think, uh, I think on the whole, they're a lot more... Uh, well, I would They're a lot say, more uh, sincere in, uh, in their... Uh, their choice and selection. Of course, of they are much more excitable, too, the yes. very nature uh -huh. of the woman. Uh, I've got to tip you on something, friends. When when I was chatting with Carl earlier in the dressing room, he said, what do we talk about tonight? Uh, I said, I don't know. What did you have in mind? He said, well, let's talk about girls. <laughs> and we are. You got me. Carl, it's been nice chatting with you. Awful I know you got a, a lot of things in your mind, some big matches in the very near yes. future. We wish you, as always, the very best of luck with them. Well, thanks a lot for that. Just in case you have not been with us before on Wrestling Champions, the gentleman uh, making the various speculations is none other than the Moose, Big Moose, Jolak from Moosehead, Maine, and he wows out with the Boo Moose sound as the match gets underway. The Moose going against. Carl Engstrom, Oak Park, Illinois. teach professional dancing. He's going to do a wonderful job, too. And he says that he is working in the uh, dance profession, helping him in shape for wrestling, which in turn helps keep him in shape for dancing. Given Moose 
thought he could handle now. And Sherlock, the big man from Moosehead, Maine, gets outside of the ring to put a choking hold on Carl Engstrom. Wait a minute, that's all Moose has been disqualified, I believe. This is a real grudge match, by the way. One of the former matches between these two seen on wrestling champions. When Engstrom was meeting Angelo Papo in the heat of battle, Moose came right into the ring and unloaded one on Engstrom. And Moose is beside himself. Referee Fred Ladover has disqualified him, I believe. Let's get the official word from the ring announcer, Len Sterling. decision was huh? because you got out of the ring to do it. What are you talking about? I said, I beat the guy any way I can beat him. Smash him and kill him. So what they do? They're against me over here. The referee. I beat the guy for the square. Literally right here. What well, do you think? Um, I don't know. You're talking to me almost. It's like talking to a, a cop after you got the ticket. Uh, well, you got to take your case guy, to the court. I smashed him a bitch and they disqualified me. I won the match. Everybody could see that. Well, with the possible exception of the fact that you were out on the ray apron outside the ring and you were counted out. I don't care who they feed me. I can beat any man in wrestling today. I'm 365 pounds, and there's nobody that can touch me. I took five guys over here. One day, one, one clown referee, like over here, counted me out. But I came back the next time and beat this guy and put him into the floor. So that proves to anybody that I can beat anybody. And what? what? happens over here when they disqualify me that's what i don't like i beat the guy i'm in there to beat the guy and they i got the guy half dead and then they disqualify me well uh the only thing i can tell you most i mean i know it, it may be a little tough to swallow but the fact of the matter remains that when they write the uh, uh the I names know. in the record book the uh, it's going to go down as a loss the people that seen the bout know that i'm the winner because i killed this guy he can't even defend himself what about the people that don't see it? It'll just look like you were lost, well, uh, you know, like you got beat. They know the moose gets screwed once in a while. Uh, moose is um, not willing to admit the fact that he uh, still is a loser no matter how you slice it. And now he says, I can take on any one of these bums here. These people are brave, but they're chicken. They're afraid to come over here and face me. Go behind a pole or a pillar or something like that. Well, the uh, problem being... The problem being that... Uh, all right, I won the match and that's all it comes. Well, um, most insist on... Uh, I'm going to go over here and see Carl Engstrom for a minute. Most insist that he won the match. Carl, I don't know if you heard everything that went on, but uh, most insist... Careful what happened during that match, I'll tell you one bit. Well, Moose insists. Uh, I'm a little deaf here. He's been uh, screaming in my ears over there. Couldn't hear myself think. Yeah, that's about all the moves with him. Well, Carl, he insists that he did not lose the match. He says uh, he was jobbed. He says that he can beat, the uh, quote, that bomb any day of the week. Well, I'm here. Uh, I'm here for, to prove it or disprove it, whatever the case may be. But I think uh, in a match where there is, say, without a referee or where each man takes his best, I fear I would uh, come out... Uh, or he would come out second best. In other words, you feel that he is uh, is has handicapped tremendously when he has to wrestle to the rules? I think so. Not only that, but I would wrestle him any type of match uh, that he would like to wrestle, a Texas death match or anything at all without the referee, you know, just until one man cannot come out to answer the bell. I have heard uh, 
a couple of fellas, I think uh, best unnamed, Carl, say that if it weren't for the weight that the moose carries around, he'd just be a great big blob in there and couldn't wrestle at all. Well, I'll give him this credit. Uh, he is powerful. He's a powerful man. For a man his weight, he does move extremely fast. And that combined with the little wrestling skill, he would be dangerous. But when he gets excited, he throws uh, rules to the wind, and thereby he throws any uh, wrestling know-how out also. And a man, uh, a man as irate as he gets when he is in the ring would be quite easy to beat because he would leave himself open for all types of holes. Of course, you've got to give the devil his due, too, Carl. I mean, he is big, but yes, aside from his size, he is tremendously strong. You've he got to say powerful. that. Yes, he is very powerful. And, of course, any man that possesses that size which uh, is a task in itself to surmount, just getting That's up true. to him, yeah. uh -huh. and has that great strength, is a formidable opponent. There's yes. no question but about don't that. Don't forget, that used against him could be just, uh, just as bad for against him. You know, you use his own strength and weight against him. It would be to his opponent's advantage. And I believe getting him in the uh, condition he was in there now, he was ready to blow up, and I think when a man has becomes irrational that way, no matter what his size or strength or power, uh, he would be quite easy to beat. Well, it's your story. You haven't got the perfect combination. Uh, I guess the perfect combination in wrestling would be size combined with strength, combined with speed, combined with mental ability. That's true. And uh, self-control and being able to pace yourself. And, of course, Moose has got the strength. He's got the size. The mental ability will remain untouched. But he does not have the speed. No, he does have speed. He's for a, fast, for a big man, he moves fast. Of course, not as fast as a middleweight or a junior heavyweight. Or someone your own yeah. size, even. Well, that's true, yeah. He is handicapped by the 